power of a product. If I've got a single term inside a bracket, in this case a times b, I can use the power of a product rule to apply that exponent to each piece of the term inside the brackets. a to the power of m times b to the power of m. Let me be completely clear. So that right there, a plus b to the power of m, in this case, we don't have a single term inside the brackets. We've got two terms. Remember, if things are all multiplied together, that's a single term. But as soon as you're added or subtracted together, you've got multiple terms. To use the power of a product, you just apply that exponent to each piece of the term. Let's go through a couple of quick examples. So here I have 3x and all of it is squared. I could write it as 3x times 3x, but if we have a larger exponent that gets quite long, I would prefer to use the power of a product rule, which means I'm gonna take three, I'm gonna apply the exponent to that, and I'm take the x. I'm gonna apply the exponent to that, three squared equals nine, and x squared stays as it is. There's my answer. Common mistake is people will often forget to apply that exponent to the coefficient out front. Let's do one more example. All right, I've got 4xy, all taken to the power of 3. I'm going to take 4, apply the power of 3. I'm going to take x, apply the power of 3. I'm going to take y, apply the power of 3. When I figure that out, 4 to the power of 3 gives me 64. I'm going to leave it as x cubed and y cubed. There is my power of a product.